Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. 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 Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the Gospel of the day shows us a moment in which two men who had a great need, they were blind, were asking a favor of Jesus. And Jesus actually called them to faith first. And he asked them, do you believe that I can do this for you? And that actually becomes the question for us, because our faith in Jesus also needs to be that strong. And Jesus is really inviting us into that kind of relationship with him to where he can touch our lives and bring healing to us. And especially as we're preparing for his birth at Christmas, it's a time for us to prepare our hearts for his love to touch us in a very new way, in a very fresh way. And for us to be able to share that love with one another. It's what we talked about before. God's love coming to us, and we loving God, that's the first commandment. And then as we love ourselves, we share God's love with one another. And that's actually what happened to these two men once they were healed because of their faith they began to proclaim the love of Jesus Christ and the love of God to everyone that they could possibly see or talk to. And that's really what it's about for each of us. So we have a couple of symbols here that it would be good for us to be reminded of. One is the Advent candle and the Advent wreath. And you notice that the Advent candle, we only have one candle lit. That means we're in the very first week of preparing for Jesus' birth in our lives. And that there's actually four weeks of preparation. And that the circular spot there is about God's love is everlasting for us, which is really quite powerful. And then the statues we have of St. Joseph, who was the spouse of Mary and the foster father of Jesus, and St. Martin de Porres here behind me, who was a powerful, wonderful saint in, in uh, South America. And then we have St. Anne, who's carrying Mary, because she's dressed in pink. That's how we know it's Mary, okay? And carrying Mary, the mother of Jesus. And then Our Lady of Guadalupe here is really an image of Mary, the mother of God. And so around us, we also have some wonderful Stations of the Cross, and then Our Lady of Guadalupe over here. And each of these symbols are really meant to call us into a love relationship with God. And so as we celebrate this Mass in a very special way, let's pray that we can grow closer to Jesus, and that as he calls us to faith, we may really accept that gift of faith in our lives just as the two men in the gospel who were blind were healed, so we too may be healed by the love of God in our lives. Let's stand and offer our prayers and petitions. <coughs> 